Yo, what's up guys, Jats here, and I'm back with a new tutorial. Um, this is going to be a little different. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go through a partner background walkthrough, um, basically. Um, it will definitely be more than one part, um, I'm not sure how many. But um, I'm going to do the videos around 15 minutes each. So this will be the first one to start us off. And uh, all I'm going to do is, go off the top of my head um, and make a partner background with you following along. Um, so this is where we're going to start. You want to have your layout. <clears throat> Obviously if you wanted to do this on a default layout you could but uh, you won't be able to have the banner uh, all that stuff. Um, but yeah. So um, I haven't planned this because I, I, I rarely plan tutorials. Um, I just go along and uh, do it off the top of my head. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, Firstly, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna start off by the hot. I'm gonna do the um, whole background, just greys, whites, and blacks, and uh, no colours. Um, but then I'm gonna add colours at the end because I find it easy sometimes to just work. Oh god, got that gradient wrong. You want to have it radial, um, and mid grey. But yeah, I find it easier if I add colour at the end. Um, because I don't have to work with different shades and stuff and it's just all grey and black and it's pretty easy to add the colour um, but yeah I'm just trying to get the get a good radial here uh, that'll do um, right, um, now I've got that I'm going to add colour to our um, to our modules here um, we'll add a just a random grey. In fact, I've changed my mind. I'm going to do it in colour. Um, so, to add colour, all I'm going to do is... Oh, sorry, I got a cold today and I keep making weird noises. <laughs> Not noises, but I've got a stuffed nose and all that stuff. Anyway, um, I don't know what colour I'm going to do it. Um, blue seems a bit... I've overused blue. I'm going to do purple. I never do purple. Uh, let's go with that. And all I'm going to do is put a paint bucket on a new layer and click overlay. Oh, that's soft light. We don't want that. Okay, now we've got that. I'm just going to brighten it up a bit with the bright and contrast adjustment. That'll do. And then merge that all together by doing Command and E. Um, what is that layer? I don't know why that's there. <clears throat> okay, now I want to change. I want to do these colours. Um, just going to go with something random like that. Oh, that's the bottom one. In fact, why am I filling it in with a brush? Do that with a paint, a paint bucket. Um, I'm going to make it a bit lighter. Uh, that'll do. Um, you can't really see it right now, but obviously, when we um, I'm not I'm not feeling that. We'll go with that. Um, I usually don't worry about what the colours look like because when it's actually got all the effects on, that's when I'll change it to make it look right. Um, so yeah. Uh, now I'm going to add another layer above each of them. Do the top one first. I'm gonna select that colour. I'm gonna just, just going to go like the same space but up a bit go to the brush select a soft brush make it pretty big and um, in fact uh, that's too big you just do it about that big and um, all I'm really gonna do is go like that in fact in fact in fact I'm going to select a big brush and do it like this so you've got a little bit of light at the top, like so. I'm just going to duplicate that, if it lets me. And then bring it down. And then I'm going to have to move it down onto that layer. And there we go. So our modules look pretty nice, but the background the background's not really matching it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the background um, black and white instead. Yeah, that that would be better. Now I can work with that. <clears throat> but make it a bit darker first. Oh, 
I might, um, I may do this, it depends where I am, by about 15 minutes, if um, I haven't done a lot, because starting off it's pretty basic stuff, um, so there's not much to follow, but if I haven't done a lot by 15 minutes, then I'll just go to about 20 minutes, just for the first episode. Um, but yeah, I'm going to select a really light, um, in fact no, I'm going to select that, and then select that colour there, and going to make bring that up a bit like that. Then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to select, and modify, expand, and then I want it by 2. And what I've done there is, um, I've marketed the selection of this module here. How do you do that? You do Command or Control and click that. Click the thumbnail there. And then I've gone to select and expanded it by two. Alright, so now I've got that. I want it to be on a new layer. I'm going to go to Paint Bucket. And what you'll see is like a little uh, kind of different shaded. It'd just be a little bit lighter. And uh, once you've got that, keep your select keep what you've got selected don't uh, deselect that uh, I need to try to get my color back now because I've lost it there we go now I'm gonna bring it up to a really light purple like that and use the same brush in fact no bring it down to about 800 or so yep that'll do and then just put it in the middle like that at the top and then you'll get this nice shining at the top of your um, the top of your module if you want you can brighten it up a bit by using the brightness and contrast adjustment then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this I'm going to hide off that so that's what we've got see that's what's behind that module I'm going to select that colour there and then that colour there so you know that they are the colours you use for the outlines now on this one I'll show you there's another way of doing it if you go to stroke go to gradient bring it down to 2 and you'll see that this has done that go to reflected reverse that and you'll see it's kind of given the same effect with a black and then white on top but um, if you do this then you're gonna get it on the bottom bit here you're gonna get it here um, and also you won't be able to modify as much um, so that's why I like to do it like that um, I don't know why it's just it's just something I do um, I just like to get it more accurate I suppose and then you want to do it again for this one this one's and then do the darker color first with the paint bucket select that color go to the paintbrush and bang oh well, that was a fail on my part. I forgot to expand it. Select, modify, expand by two. Paintbrush, no, paint bucket. Put that in. Paintbrush. Bang. Let's do it twice. And there we go. In fact, I'm not going to do that twice. Just leave it at one. There we go. Alright. Now, next thing, you want to add just... Uh, simple drop shadow to this back layer um, put the distance about 2 um, oh yeah in the last tutorial I done uh, you were telling me I got a few comments saying we can't see like the settings because I, I at some parts I said I'll just leave the settings there so you can look at them but the thing was because I'm working on a 27 inch Mac um, it was hard to see the uh, numbers and stuff so what I'm going to do at the end of this I'm going to see if I can get it zoomed into these boxes here so you can see the settings so if that works hopefully it will um, that didn't make sense but cool anyway um, so that's the settings for that so hopefully when I edit this you will be able to see it um, 2, 20, 8, 90 angle, opacity 100 and black now I'm just going to copy that and put it on that one Right now we've got our drop shadow. Now I'm going to add the color to the background because we've got the effects now, so I don't need to worry about that. That looks quite nice. So I'm going to make it a bit brighter though. There we go. As you can see, 
we've got a pretty nice start already. Um, it's looking pretty nice. But as I say, you can do this with any colour. You don't have to use the colours I'm using. Um, but this is what we've got so far. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go along the lines of uh, the recent backgrounds I've been doing. Um, for example, I'll just go in here quick. Um, woo, where's my file? I've lost it. Oh. Um, well, I've lost my file. But um, I'll show you this one instead. A background I made for a clan called Tempo. Um, that. Um, pretty nice. Um, I'm going to be use, using these sort of um, this sort of style in this tutorial. Um, obviously, not the same thing, but the style um, looks pretty nice uh, and uh, professional. I think uh, looks really cool. Um, anyway, so let's carry on. Um, so I'm going to go to pen tool, and basically, what I'm going to do is, in fact. Um, no, Marque won't be as accurate. Don't worry about that. Um, I'm going to bring out the rulers. If you haven't got rulers, 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 <laughs> um, you want to hold down Control or Command and click R, and they'll come out and go away. Or you can just go to View and uh, where are they? Rulers, there. So you can put them on and off. Go to the left one, bring it in, and you just want to bring it where you think the middle is, and it will snap to it at one point. There we go, that's where it is there. And now, all I'm going to do is, I'm going to bring my pen, pen tool from here, just click there, bring it into about here, and just hold down shift, and pull it along to the right, like so, and that that will curve it. If you do it the other way, it will do it like that. Do it like that way, that's what it will do. And then, I'm just going to finish that off. I'm going to make it white, make sure you're on a new layer, hold down... Uh, right click fill path okay and there we go alright now the reason I use the ruler is because we only do half of it because if you're using a pen tool you want to get it the same size and curve both sides so you just duplicate it and drag it over like that and make it into one shape now if you don't like the curve you've got you can just modify it a bit like so and that's mine there. I'll, I'll keep that. Now I'm going to make this... I might do this bit um, grey. Um, I'll see what it looks like. Uh, no, I'll just keep the colour scheme going. Um, so keep the same colours that you've done for the modules. So go and select them colours again. So the top bit, where the highlight is. I'm going to make that a bit brighter bit lighter and then the bottom bit where the darker bit is all right so now we're going to fill this in with the darker and then I'm going to select soft brush make that about 200 basically I'm just going to put little highlights here and here and then what we will do is um, you'll see in a second uh, In fact, don't don't put them there. Don't put them there. I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm just going crazy. Um, anywho, so we've got that. Um, I'm going to merge that down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing we've done on the modules to get the outline. So there we go again. Select it. Select. Modify. Expand by two. And then you want to select them colours again. So just get it accurate. Just get it in between there. Oh, nope. There's one. And then there's two. Now, fill that in. Go to the soft brush again. Make it a bit bigger. I'm just going to take one stroke like that and one stroke like that. And then bang. You've got some nice little highlights there. I'm just going to copy the layer style because we've still got the one from before. And there we go. Although. I'm going to go into the layer style and put that at zero, so it's the same all sides. Bring that down a bit. 
and that will do. Um, now usually um, what I'd do is I'd just duplicate this, in fact I'm going to bring it down, merge that down onto that layer so it's all one. I'm going to hold down Command E, not E, sorry, Command J, so it duplicates it. I'm going to push it up, do it again, push it up, so we've got it like that. So it just it just gives it a bit more of a detailed effect, um, and it looks nicer, to be fair. Um, <clears throat> now I'm going to do it one more time, but I'm going to do this one differently. So take the bottom one, the one that's at the bottom, and then hold down Command, click the thumbnail again to select it, go to Select, Expand, we'll put it about 15, um, a bit higher than that actually, uh, let's say 20, there we go, and then you just want to um, delete that bit there, so you've deleted the selected thing, um, don't know why, it's just, uh, it just makes it, gives it an extra effect, and uh, just add into what we've got really. Um, the only thing is, as you can see, the stroke's this side now, but not that side. That's the only problem. So what you want to do is, you just want to do it for this side. Um, all I'm going to do is select that, make sure we've got a new layer. Select, modify, expand by 2. And then I'm just going to put it in behind... That did not work. In fact, scrap that whole bit. We don't need this little bit here. There we go. We'll just keep it like that. Um, now I want to change the drop shadow on that a bit because it's not it's not bold enough. So just copy and paste that layer style to all of them and there we go that's what we've got so far now I've come up to 17 minutes um, around that uh, so I think I'm gonna leave it around here and then part two um, I think I'll do that straight after this one and then I'll try and get these uploaded when I can um, so hopefully you like this please comment uh, what I'll do first actually I'll put this one up first uh, see what you think if you want me to carry on then I'll carry on and uh, we can finish it off. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments and please like the video um, and I can get these things going. Uh, so thanks a lot. My name is Strats. Peace.